This is BBC News. These are the headlines. Police in Britain say they've identified four British men they believe carried out the London bombings and think at least three died at the scene. Explosives are discovered in raids in northern England as it looks increasingly likely that Western Europe has suffered its first suicide bombings. Arsalan Iftikhar is with the Council on American-Islamic Relations think tank in Washington and he joins me now. A very warm welcome to BBC News. Thank you for having me. Now, the fallout could severely test the uh, cohesion of British society, couldn't it? How do you think that we should best resist those stresses, remembering back to how you managed after 9-11? Well, Martin, uh, first of all, uh, on behalf of the greater Muslim world, we want to reiterate our complete and blanket condemnation of last week's bombings in London, from Saudi Arabia to Iran to Pakistan to Indonesia to Washington, D.C., uh, mainstream Muslim leaders have utterly condemned these vicious and barbaric attacks as being completely irreligious and cannot be uh, condoned by any uh, civilized living human being. Now, unfortunately, uh, the reality of what American Muslims and Arabs and South Asians have lived in after 9-11 here in the United States uh, has been one of a duality where both our nation was attacked on September 11th, but then afterwards we felt the repercussions of uh, hate crimes and backlash against our community and I think that this is a very strong testing time for British society which I know to be very inviting and very tolerant of, of diversity uh, in this time of uh, tragedy and anguish. Now moderate Muslims are also under fire too from these extremists but how great is the need for Muslim communities in Britain at the moment to admit that pockets of extremism do exist? It's very important, Martin. It's something that's very important for the global Muslim community to understand is that out of 1.2 billion Muslims on earth, which constitute one out of every five people living in the world today, that there is an ext extremist uh, terrorist fringe within our communities. And it is our duties, it is our civic, it is our religious duties as Muslims uh, to uh, weed out these criminals who are completely distorting uh, the message of Islam in order to uh, perpetuate the, their own distorted political platforms. But is there an urgency for moderate Muslims to reach out to these radicals to explain that Islam is not about violence, it's actually about peace and tolerance? Well, that's something that, you know, all Muslims should know and, uh, you know, especially these extremists who purport to be speaking on behalf of, uh, you know, one of the world's great religions. Unfortunately, Martin, the problem is that in many cases, uh, you know, we don't know the telltale signs of who might be an extremist and who might not be, but, you know, it's very important for all communities nationwide, regardless of faith, regardless of uh, ethnic background, to, you know, report any suspicious criminal activity in their communities to the local law enforcement officials. It's not only our civic duties uh, for us here as Americans and, and for the Muslims in Britain as, as, as British, but it is our moral and religious duty as Muslims uh, adhering to our faith. Arsalan Iftikhar, thank you very much indeed for joining us here on BBC News. My pleasure, Martine.